Okay, this is a quick demo on uh, cutting your 3x3 three three squares that you're going to need for the 20 artists assignment. Uh, you have 11 by 14 Bristol board and you're going to need three sheets uh, to make the, to give you the number of uh, squares that you need. Um, so if you have 9 by 12 Bristol board, you can start with 9 by 12 Bristol board. Uh, but most of you have 11 by 14 Bristol board. And so the first thing you're going to do is cut down to 9 by 12. This cutter uh, is divided into half inch increments. Uh, and so the idea is to, uh, well, we'll first cut down to 9 inches. So what you do, you go to the 9 inch mark and you make sure that your paper is lined up on a horizontal line and then lined up on that vertical 9 inch line. You hold your paper down and you just bring down the blade. And then I'm going to cut it down to 12. So I start out by cutting the 11 by 14 down to 9 by 12. Again, I'm lining up on that bottom line and making sure that I'm lined up on that 12 inch line. That will be sure to give me a right angle here, a square cut there. So now I have 9 by 12. So I want to cut off uh, 3 inch strips. I'm at 9. so. If I go to 9 minus 3 is 6, so I'm going to go to 6. And what that's going to do is cut off a 3-inch strip there, and then I'm going to go to 3. And I'm going to do this with each of the sheets. Okay, so three 3-inch three strips. And then I'm just going to take each one. And so I'm starting out at 12. 12 minus 3 is 9, so I go to 9. Again, I make sure that I'm lined up on the bottom line and that vertical 9-inch line. And then I move to 6. And then I move to 3. So now that I think of it, actually, each sheet is going to give you 12 squares. So you only need two, uh, nine, two 11 by 14 Bristol board sheets. Um, and that will give you a total of 24, which will give you an, a couple of extra to, uh, to play with. Placing the shapes on each of the each of the cards. So again, on this assignment, you're going to want to, let me just make sure my camera is good here. You're going to want to uh, make sure that whatever shape you use is going to be in exactly the same place, uh, in exactly the same direction uh, on each of your designs. So what I've done is I'm taking one of my three by three inch squares of Bristol board, and uh, I've made a template, uh, just a shape, that I'm going to trace onto my Bristol board square. And I'm just going to get that place and just lightly trace that. So I've traced that on and then I'm going to make some cuts to cut it off. What I find is if, I, if I'm cutting something, it's, uh, it's easier for me to cut if I line up my ruler so that it's perpendicular to me. And then I pull my knife toward me. Um, let's see, I thought I had an exacto here. I'll be right back. Okay, so my first cut, and again, I'm just, I positioned it so that I can just pull toward me, and I've got two little cuts right here. And then I've got this cut. So I'm going to turn this again so that I can pull this toward me rather than cut like this or cut like that. So I want to be as comfortable as I can and have as much control of the knife as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut those diagonal lines. And 
just felt it was going to break. Okay, and I'm going to take that out. Okay, so now I have this template that I can use for each of my 3x3 three three squares. So I'm going to take the template and I'm going to put it over my first square. And trace that out. And I know exactly where that's going to be on one. And then I know exactly where that's going to be on the next. And I know exactly where it's going to be on the next. And I'm going to do that with all 23 remaining cards. And I really do suggest that you use all of the cards at this point um, so that you have like three extra in case you're not happy with one of them. You can just, you'll have the card ready to do.